your microwave is probably going to get a workout this weekend, heating up all of those Thanksgiving leftovers. 45 seconds later, you have yourself a second or perhaps a third holiday meal. But did you ever wonder how do microwaves work? Good question. Last year, the nice folks at Dunwoody took apart their own to show Heather Brown what's happening inside. Any idea how microwaves work? <laughs> I just push the buttons and it turns off. <laughs> no, actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a good question. The microwave oven is, is kind of a unique technology. It's actually fairly simple. E.J. Daigle is the Dean of Robotics and Manufacturing at Dunwoody. We have a, a magnetron vacuum tube on the side here. And that little magnetron emits an electromagnetic signal. Microwaves actually use microwaves. And waves, okay. As that energy enters the food, the water molecules inside that food rub, rub together. So that, that, that energy is constantly shaking those molecules, rubbing them together at a high rate. And as they rub together, friction creates heat, heat heats up your food. Kind of magical things they are. <laughs> What's kind of cool about the microwave is it heats up very, very, um, very evenly from the mm -hmm. inside to the outside. If I made a turkey in, the, in my microwave, it wouldn't taste the same. No, that would taste pretty gross. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> On your conventional ovens, we basically create a hot chamber is what we do. And all of that heat has to soak in to the meat. The first patent for a microwave came in 1945 after a scientist working on radar systems for the war had a candy bar in his pocket. That, or that microwave energy for that radar system actually melted the candy bar, and there you go. Hence the birth of TV dinners. Ha hence the, the birth of TV dinners. <laughs> so why is metal such a no-no? What happens on a metal fork is it doesn't have water molecules in it like your food would have. So the electrons are going to build up along the edges of the metal fork, and if you leave it in there long enough... We've all done that, I think, at least once. <laughs> It'll set fire. It'll set fire. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so has your mom ever told you don't stand in front of the microwave? It turns out they are regulated by the FDA. And over their lifetime, microwaves are only allowed to emit a very tiny amount of radiation far below dangerous levels. So if you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com slash links. And I'll have a talk with my mom. Yeah, right. There you go. <laughs>